or differential equation. So now what we have to find is basically we have to find a differential equation which this function satisfies. So you can say um, here give the differential equation which this function satisfies. I mean, I don't even need it the first line, but I started out with saying that this satisfies some differential equation. Now, give the differential equation which this function satisfies. So, as you can see, this function involves a constant. So, as C changes, your solution changes. So, this is a general solution of a problem. How will you how will you find a differential equation? Do you do you have any like uh, suggestions? You want to create a differential equation out of a solution. Differential equation will not involve constant. Right? Differential equation will not involve constant. So one way of going for it is solve for C. Exactly right. And the way to get rid of C is we will solve for C. And solving for C here is y square plus 2 is Cx cubed. This implies C is nothing but y square plus 2 divided by x cubed. Now you differentiate both the sides. what you will get on the left hand side and by the way you are differentiating both the side with respect to x x is your independent variable so when you differentiate you will get y square 0 is equals to quotient rule what is the derivative of y square plus 2 with respect to x So is this quotient rule clear to everyone? So far is this step clear to everyone? Okay, so then if this is clear, then what is the derivative of y square plus 2 with respect to x? So we need to differentiate y square plus 2 with respect to x. That's exactly right. We will apply chain rule 2y y prime. First derivative of y square and then y prime. x derivative of constant is 0. 
minus y square plus 2 and derivative of this is 3x square divided by x to the power 6 and this is equals to 0. So by cross multiplying or multiplying throughout by x to the power 6 we get here 2x cube y y prime minus 3x square y square minus 6x square is equals to 0. So we can further little bit simplify as we can see x square in each term. This is same as writing 2x y y prime minus 3 y square minus 6 is equals to 0. So this is the differential equation whose solution whose solution is um, what we started out with. We started out with this. So this is a differential equation whose solution is this. You can if you want you can simplify for y prime in this expression. You can simplify for y prime taking these two terms on the right and divide by 2xy and that's it. That will be a differential equation. So what is the important point here? Can anybody point it out? What is the important point in this whole process? Right, we are trying to get rid of C. That's the whole point. And uh, uh, another thing which is uh, very intricate and uh, in depth is if you have one constant you will always get first order differential equation. If you have two constants in the solution you will get second order differential equation and number of constants in the solution correspond to the order of the differential equation of which that particular function is a solution. So this is one parameter family and that's the reason it results in a first order differential equation. If I had a solution which is um, y equals to c1 e to the power something plus c2 e to the power something that will result into a second order differential equation. Okay. So that's a key here. That's a very important point. 